American Border Patrol is America's nonprofit eyes on the border. For some time, we have been investigating new technology being used by Customs and Border Protection called integrated fixed towers. These are radar control cameras that were intended to replace the failed Boeing virtual fence. In the summer of 2015, Elbit Systems of America issued a press release saying its new integrated fixed tower systems near Nogales could, quote, detect, track, identify, and classify movement on the border. After seeing where CBP put these towers, we began to take a closer look at them. And we published our concerns online. November of 2016, we learned of plans to install an integrated fixed tower at the Montezuma Pass. We later learned that a total of eight IFTs were planned for the same area. On June 12, 2017, the Department of Homeland Security issued a special report on lessons learned from past border technology acquisitions. It included this. In other words, Customs and Border Protection had not tested these integrated fixed towers to see if they actually worked where they were installed. We decided to take an even closer look at one of the cameras. The tower we looked at is located in the Coronado National Forest, 1.85 miles north of the Mexican border. It is located about 600 feet from a deep wash that runs all the way to Mexico. On July 12, 2017, we flew a drone mission to find out what it could see. A test subject started walking toward the wash from a point near the base of the camera tower. The drone was positioned to keep the test subject in frame. The video insert is from a GoPro camera on the chest of the test subject. Note how the two videos are of the same trees. Could the radar on the tower still spot the subject in this vegetation? The subject approaches the wash. He works his way down the 21-foot embankment. The buzzing sound is the drone as it moves in for an overhead look. He has made it to the bottom of the wash and moves north. Could the radar atop the camera tower detect a human in this wash? Note the steep embankment to the right.
Could a smuggler or terrorist take advantage of these conditions to avoid detection? As the drone backs away, we lose sight of the subject almost immediately. If the IFT cannot detect movement this close to the wash, a person should be able to avoid detection all the way from Mexico. We will now take a look at camera tower T3, three miles west of T2. This drone video was taken before the radar and cameras had been installed. Looking to the east, we see a berm, beyond which is a deep wash, estimated to be 50 feet below the top of the berm. This and other deep washes run all the way to Mexico. Camera T1 is 900 feet higher than T3, but four miles away. By law, the job of the Secretary of Homeland Security is to establish operational control of the border. The law says this means the prevention of all unlawful entries. To what degree can these integrated fixed towers prevent unlawful entries? Indeed, to what degree can they even detect unlawful entries? <laughs> 